Our climate is in crisis. Our health is at stake. We think of climate crisis as something we can't really see. But look around. It's already affecting our food and water. Extreme weather is wilting farms and changing how crops grow. Groundwater supplies are drying up in some parts of the world. Elsewhere, thawing glaciers that provide water for billions are slowly disappearing. Erratic rains, increasing drought, and skyrocketing temperatures are all contributing to a world with less clean water and healthy food to go around, threatening the well-being of people and communities around the world. When it comes to our food and water, the Climate Health Connection works like this. Burning fossil fuels fill the atmosphere with carbon pollution, raising temperatures worldwide. That means less snow piling up in winter. Snow that used to feed rivers and reservoirs come spring. It means longer droughts and less water seeping down into the earth and restoring critical groundwater supplies. And it means glaciers that store water as ice are melting at unprecedented rates. It all adds up, less water for the farms and streams that feed us, less water for us to live. In these conditions, yields of crops like rice, corn, and wheat, staples that feed the world are threatened. It's a danger that expands right as the world's population is too. As hotter becomes the new normal, large parts of the world are at risk of losing the crops that have supported them for generations. Imagine Bordeaux without wine, Brazil without coffee, a world where chocolate becomes scarce as the Ivory Coast, Ghana, and Indonesia get too warm to produce cacao. It's more than heat. The climate crisis is throwing seasons out of balance and fueling all kinds of extreme weather, threatening global food supplies, devastating storms and floods strike harder and more often, sometimes wiping out entire harvests. Rain and frost increasingly come out of season and destroy crops. And pests and diseases are spreading further across our planet, reaching regions once too cold to support them. Crop blights like wheat rust and molds that can make us sick and stunt children's growth are slowly expanding their reach too. Plus, scientists are beginning to understand a new threat. Elevated levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere are depleting protein and key nutrients like iron and zinc in crops. The food we've eaten for centuries is slowly becoming less nutritious, putting countless people at risk of malnutrition. Bottom line, it's a direct connection from burning fossil fuels to a world where nutritious food and clean water become scarce. But today, we can skip the dirty stuff and protect our health and power our lives with clean and affordable renewable energy. In a world where our health is in the balance, the choice is clear. Protect our planet, protect ourselves. Find out more at climaterealityproject.org.